All right, Coach Kennedy, we appreciate you taking time with us here. And uh, obviously, the start with this past Friday, another tough one. Uh, White Knoll, a team that uh, you got, a very good football team that you guys kind of had on the ropes. Uh, if a couple of things would have maybe bounced the other way, you would have gotten that first win. But the good news is, obviously, you're playing very well. Region play has just started, and your kids still have a chance to extend the season based on what they do over the next four weeks, right? Yeah, yeah, and we spent our kids uh, on Monday. And that, um, you know, we're still get some good out of the season these last four weeks. And, um, and we talked about the uh, the last three ball games we played. We felt like we played real well. We just lost down the stretch um, against Blackwood. Came down to the last possession. Um, and again, this past week against White Knoll, came down to the last possession. And versus Dutch Fork, came out to the fourth quarter, going to the fourth quarter, scored 13 nothing. Um, ended up you know, losing right there down the end, though. But a lot of that is just that learning curve. You know, we know we're a young football team. A lot of mistakes we're making down the stretch are youth mistakes. Eventually, those mistakes will come in the big plays and good plays. And, uh, and then you, you know, the, the wins will come. Coach, how tough is it for you? You're a winner. I mean, we all know that. Uh, just personally, because I, I know there's there's a big picture, but there's also winning ball games. As just as a whether you're a player, a coach, or even a fan of a team, we all want to win. Yeah, yeah. And and how how tough has it been? To, I know it's a process, but on the other hand, we're human beings. We want to get those W's, right? Yeah, I, I guess the most painful part for me just on Friday nights at the end of the night when when I have my players that crying. Oh, that, that's just tough for me, but. Uh, but overall, you know, I, I told the coaches we just we could do things the right way. And I just firmly believe if you do things the right way, uh, the wins will follow. You know, our motto always, you do good, good will follow. So, uh, you know, just coming in and uh, uh, each Monday, each weekend, and having to turn the page and try to get yourself for next week, you know, it gets tough sometimes. But uh, I look at the big picture, though, and just say that uh, don't forget why you're in this business, you're in it for the kids. and. Uh, you know, that's just been kind of my driving point, though. But, uh, but we can do it the right way, and we can continue to do that. And we let the uh, um, score take care of itself on Friday nights. And the good news is four region games left, right? Yeah. I mean, you, you've got a chance. Oh, I mean, yeah. Oh, yeah. We, and, we, and we stressed that um, this week, and we continue to stress that. And we're just going to take it one week at a time. We told the kids it's a four-game four season now, and we want to get the, we want to do the best we can do and get the best out of the season. You're playing at South Aiken this week, and obviously this is a chance to get that first one. And uh, from what I understand, uh, just talking to a couple of your players, they are rather than kind of dragging, they're excited about getting out there on the field, which is obviously a good sign. Yeah, yeah, and I, and I told our guys, you know, we, we play for a region championship in the next four weeks, and uh, we're just going to take them one at a time. And, uh, you know, for South Aiken on the road, we know it'll be tough. They're going to play hard at home. And um, they coach probably told the kids the same thing I told my kids this past Monday. You know, we all want to but we still have a chance in the region. So we don't got our work cut out for us, and uh, we just got to go out and don't make the mistakes down the stretch that we made the past three weeks. Coach, you've got some – we've talked about some of the talented players you've had over the course of this season, but you've also got, in addition to being good players, you got some really good kids on this team, don't you? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. They're probably one of the best um, character-wise team I've coached in a long time. I would feel like you got good character, that uh, good things will follow. And, um, um, you know, ain't going to be this way forever. <laughs> I told right. you guys that. Wait, ain't going to be this way forever. Ain't going to be this way a long, you know, um, a long time either. So, you know, I just think a lot of just the growing pains, um, just the uh, kind of inexperience in some areas that kind of um, come out late in the ball games, but um, they get experience now. The inexperience can be gone. That won't be an excuse here in the next couple of weeks. Well, Coach, uh, I can tell you, pulling hard for you on Friday. Go down to South Aiken and bring us back a win, man. Yeah, thank you, Rich. All right, appreciate it, Coach.